Just because you're stuffed full of turkey and pud and baileys and everything else doesn't mean you can't get out and have a little play with this. In fact, it's a great time because look, there's all sorts of interesting stuff going on all over the place for you to take pictures of. Now, I've come down to the high street in Southampton, so I suggest you go to the high street wherever you live and let's give it a little practice, all right? Get yourself outdoors, get yourself away from that family for a bit of me space. Great excuse. Now, right now, it's not that exciting down here, is it? It's like, you know, it looks a bit dull, and if we kind of look around over this way, like, it's not all that brilliant. But, give it a little while, you've got magic hour. We're gonna have that time when, in between twilight and full daylight, when the sky goes deep, deep blue. Now, it doesn't last long, so make sure you haven't had too much Baileys, but it's a great time to practice. So, I'll see you in a minute when the light's changed. We'll see what happens, eh? Rudolph! Up there! On the castle! <laughs> right, it's going to be a tricky one because Rudolph is kind of not lit the best but we've got a little tiny bit of sort of pinkiness in the sky so how would we go about it? How would we compose it? Let's have a little look. Let me see if I can show you in my little Fuji video camera. I'm not sure if this will work because it is dark. Let's see what we can do. Right, oh, video's rolling. Right, look, there it is. There's Rudolph. Now we could sort of kind of like have lots of space, but he's a bit lost. So how about if we sort of zoomed in a bit and just lost that flag maybe and gave Rudolph loads of negative space like that? That sort of works, doesn't it? So what's this about? This is all about shooting handheld in low light and seeing what you can find. Look around, you know, see what you can find. So Rudolph's a bit backlit as well. Now don't be scared of your ISO. We're not working with a tripod here, so let's get a bit of ISO going on, all right? If your exposure's good and you don't have to brighten the shot, it doesn't really matter because it shouldn't get too grainy. Cameras are pretty good with higher ISOs now. I'm on about 1600 ISO. Let me have a little look and see what exposure that will give me. At F4, that is giving me about a 30th of a second. Now I'm going to use a 55mm lens, so I'm pushing what's possible here, but I have got image stabilising. So, let's stabilise, baby. Let's make sure my hat looks pretty. Right. So, all I've got to do is compose my shot with a little bit of castle. Actually, I'm going to give Rudolph a bit more space than I showed you. And just... How about that? Rudolph poised to leap into the sky. It'd be cool if he had some clouds but he hasn't. So there we go, we've got a little bit of cool stuff going on there. Right, see if we can find another one. Pretty, look, sparkly, sparkly. See how blue that sky has gone now, it's not gonna last long. Think how boring it was earlier on when we first came here. That's much nicer, isn't it? So, what are we gonna do with that? We've got these yellow lights going on at the bottom, we've got blue, <coughs> excuse me. Let's have a go, right. What sort of a shot will it make from here? Well, it's not very exciting, really. I'm just gonna take a shot. I've got, ooh, I've got a problem with light here now. I'm down to a fifth of a second. Too slow. So I'm gonna pimp my ISO quite a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I can see why. It's because I changed the ISO when you weren't watching. Right, that's better. So we're now back up around. 2000 ISO and that's giving me a 40th of a second. Now we could just shoot a shot like that. So yeah it's okay but it's not very exciting. How about if we get creative with this? How about if we get our spiky star up in the sky and look at it through a hole and there's one over here but on the way say happy Christmas Christina. Merry Christmas! There we go you've met Christina now. Let's go through the hole. Hello, what's your name? My name is um, Jeremy. Happy Christmas, Jeremy. Happy Christmas. Have you a great too. day. You too. Evening, man. whatever. <laughs> and my Instagram at primetime underscore harps. He's nicking blooming, he's nicking what's it off my YouTube channel. Be gone, sir. <laughs> Take care. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. So, I'm going to walk backwards. I've got, you're never going to guess who's on camera, 
we've got Simon Taplin from Aperture Asia, my buddy in all the workshops. Come on, Taplin, keep going. And he's doing the steady camera walk. I've been trying to teach this to Christina. And what you have to do, you have to go like this. So you don't wiggle the camera. Makes you look a bit odd. But look, we're in here, right? So we've got all these arches. Keep going, Taplin. And if we come back here a bit, we can frame up the spiky Christmassy thing under the arch. So if I move this way, there we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? So we've got sort of some light. You see there's some light, I don't know if you can see. Can you see in the video camera, Simon? Is there, can you see the light in the archway? Yeah. Cool. So we can use that. It just makes it look a bit more interesting. It's floodlighting coming into here. So let's have a look at our shot. What can we do? First off, we'll have a look through the camera. Now, I just need to take my exposure down a bit because I'm an eeny bit bright. Ooh, down to an eighth of a second. That's so slow. I don't think I can shoot video for you in here. So you're gonna to have to go whatever you can see with Simon because this camera, I can't get the shutter speed fast enough. But if I shoot it landscape way, it's okay, but it's not great, but you can see the idea. So how about if we go that way a bit and turn the camera that way up because it will suit the shape better, won't it? Let's see what we can do. Now let's come forward a bit, that's better. Oh, look at that, right. So what am I using? My focal length is now at about 23 millimeters. Don't try and do it on the focal length I'm using. You may need your own. Don't drink too much Bailey's or you won't know what it will be. Here we go. Let's just look through here. Focus down the end because the aperture is wide open. I'm only on an 18th of a second. So you've got to hold your camera carefully. Breathe carefully, okay? Wedge it against your body. Right, before people come through, let's go for a like that. That's not bad. That's not bad. I really quite like the light in here. I might try one with the lens a bit longer. Maybe move forward a bit. Don't be afraid to try different stuff out. That's better. I quite like these people walking through. Click. Look at that. I think that's the one. I really quite like that. Let's go and find another one, shall we? So far, <coughs> Manny boys, so far, what we've been trying to do is freeze motion, isn't it? I've been trying to keep the camera still and make sure everything's all nice and sharp. How about we capture some? We haven't got a tripod. What are we going to do? Use your eyes. Look around you. See what you can use. Use your environment. Look what I've got here. I've got a little sandwich board thing. So how about... We could use it to put the camera on to keep the camera still and then we can make the shutter speed slow and we can make these people moving around go blurry. Good, eh? Right then, you can tell I haven't any Baileys. So let's have a look. I'm gonna place the cam, where have you gone? God, oh great. I think Taplin's been on the, he's gone over here now. <sighs> Don't write in viewers. <laughs> anyway, so what we're gonna do is have a little look up the street there. I don't know if you can see in my live view. Can you, Simon? Can you see him? Yeah, he's giving a thumbs up. Good. So look, we've got a bit of movement there. Now, if I zoom the lens a bit, maybe lift the angle slightly, I'm just wondering if we could capture a little bit of that movement blur of the people. So how would we do it? Well, I'm getting an 80th of a second, 100th of a second. But all I've got to do is take my ISO back down, isn't it? Because I put my ISO really quite high to try and freeze movement. Now I'm down to a sixth of a second, we're going back to 200 ISO. If I make the aperture a little smaller, let's see if we can get down to about a quarter of a second. That's one second, one second. Should we try that? Let's try a second. I've got to hold this camera really still. Wedge it on the sandwich board here. Let me just put my eye to, because I prefer that. Now I've got to get an angle. There we go, that's good. Now breathe. And of course now I breathe, there are no people. Come on people, come closer, here we go, and shoot it. There we go, we've got a bit of movement, but not enough. I'm gonna make the lens longer so I can get the people from further away. There we go, we've got a bit of movement blur. I think you get the idea. 
Maybe even turn the camera up that way. Let's see if I can do it like that. We've got a chap walking down. I don't know if I'll hold, I can't hold it still enough like that. No, the whole thing's gone all blurry. But I wonder if we could do a bit of movement panning, you know, here's another idea. Or a bit of pan blurring, but a pan zooming. I don't know if I can hand hold it, but let's try leaning against. Keep the camera still. Here we go. Let's see, what have I got? Two seconds, that's much too slow. Let's see if we can get that down to a second. And let's try a zoom in. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's try a zoom out. So we go click, zoom, look at that. So you're zooming the lens during the exposure. That sky's getting really dark now. Let's see if we can go and find a couple of little detail shots somewhere. Here's a little picture. Remember to look all around, you know. I know it's tempting to go into the market, but I'm just seeing stuff around here. We've got sparkly lights going on up here in the tree. We've got a little bit of dark blue left. We've got Rudy Rudolph up there on top of the castle, and we've got a bit of castle. So let's lose the clutter and see what we can do in there, shall we? Right, I've got to move back this way. So I don't want to fall over Mr. Taplin. Thank you, Simon. Right, what are we going to do? I'm going to try, let me pump my ISO even higher and see if I can video for you because it makes life so much easier. I think I can. This is going to be awfully grainy, viewers. Right. Here we go, video rolling. It's a bit bright. Let's see if I can, can I darken it? Yeah, I can a bit. There we go. Now look, you can see Rudy Rudolph up on the top of the castle. We've got all this stuff down here, we don't want that. So what we've got to do is include a bit of this sort of brown, you know, leafy and sparkly with this. So let's just take that focal length in a bit, move around a bit. I don't like that zip wire thing going on, but if only someone would invent a program where we could remove it. You could call it Photoshop or something, couldn't you? Right. So that's the composition I'm thinking. I've now got my ISO very high indeed for filming. Let's just, I am up high. I'm at 3,200 ISO. Don't underexpose at high ISOs because when you brighten them, they go grainy. I've got to move quickly because we're losing the sky color. Right, here we go. I think that's pretty good. I've got a 56th of a second at F3. So again, breathe and squeeze. There it is. Now that looks really underexposed in here. It is a little bit. I'm going to brighten it up some more. Let's just take that exposure up. This is where your eyes play tricks with you. At night, your pupils get wider and then it looks brighter than it really is. But histograms don't lie. Trust your histogram. Right, one more. I've taken my exposure up a bit. Let's take it up a bit more. Histogram is saying should be good and I think I moved then. I'm worried about movement. There's a tree here. Can you lean against it? Can you do an elbow proppy thing like that? Just about, I reckon. Yes, that's going to help steady. Focus on Rudy Rudolph. That's better. That's quite nice. So that's just a few little ideas, a few little things you can do. Go out any high street anywhere. If you don't do Christmas, it doesn't matter. Go and photograph what the Christians are up to. It's got to be fun. Go and play about with this. Difficult exposures, sparkly, dark, sparkly bright bits, darky dark bits. Don't drink too much Baileys or anything else because it'll make you feel ill and all your turkey will come out and it'll be ugly. Have a great Christmas, guys. I may be gone now until New Year, but either way, have a really, really great time. If you don't do Christmas, just have a great time. Take care. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin, good tidings for Christmas and a Happy Christmas is smoking! What? That's not allowed!